I I could probably use Hi friends, thank you so much for joining us tonight for our spooktacular fun. This is a get um get set for Halloween if it's a couple of weeks early, but that's okay because if you're a long-term planner, you might need more time to um get set up for Halloween. Um, my name's Lucinda White and I've been with Young Living for almost two and a half years now. And I'm joined tonight by Kathy Martin, who's going to help me um, lead this presentation. So let me go ahead and share our screen and we will get our presentation up and going for you. So, um... I think the spooks are getting to the screen already. All right, so once again, our um, present tonight, presentation tonight is called Spooktacular Fun. And like I said, this is to get you ready for Halloween. There's going to be some um, recipes. There's going to be some um, helpful tips to get you through this fun day and also some things to help you along if you or your kiddos have too many treats. So, um, Kathy, we are going to let you take it away for the next few slides. All right. Hello, hello. My name is Kathy Martin, aka Sass Martin. And look at this beautiful slide. I'm super excited about this cute uh, presentation. Just a disclaimer, we are going to um, be talking about uh, these statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. The products are discussed are not meant to diagnose tree. We are not health professionals. Um, we are just mamas that kind of know our oils and a lot of these amazing products and a lot about this company. Uh, we're only really gonna talk about um, the testimonies and views of Young Living Essential Oils and these only really apply to Young Living Essential Oils as well. Individual may, results may also vary when using the oils. What are essential oils? They are the lifeblood of a plant, right? Squeeze that plant, squeeze that plant, right? or you steam distill it, that's what Young Living does, okay? So Young Living steam distills, um, and they don't just do a really awesome process of distilling. They do an amazing process of planting, growing, harvesting, really caring for those plants. Um, and they uh, they get the this, and then they steam distill it. And what is really awesome about essential oils is they aid in keeping our bodies healthy and happy. So it's really helped our my immune system, my kids' immune system. Um, their oils are composed of teeny molecules. Um, they're super small and they can pass through our tissues and our cells. Our system is super effective. Um, a lot of products that actually have essential oils added to them have more bioavailability, which means the supplements or the products get to our systems, uh, bloodstreams a lot quicker and um, faster and more effective than something that doesn't have essential oils. Seed to seal. Um, I started talking about this a little bit and then realized we weren't on this slide yet, but um, Young Living really takes care of their, their um, essential oils starting at the seed, right? They started the seed. They um, make all of their essential oils through their own farms, their own plants. Um, they don't have... Um, other companies that they like trade oils with or things like that. And their oils are 100% um, essential oil. So when you see a bottle of lavender, lemon, peppermint, it is 100% essential oil in there. Unlike if you go to the grocery store and you might see something um, and it might be diluted with synthetics and stuff. We really don't want that. We don't want that in our bodies. We don't even want that in our air. So you want to make sure that you're choosing a Young Living label with a seed to seal. Um, they're all seed to seal, but just look for that seed to seal. Um, that is what we really want to look for. And you can go to seed to seal.com to check out more of the things. And if you want to go to a farm, there's awesome opportunities to do that. Um, I encourage you guys to grab your convention ticket and join Lucinda and I next year um, for a fun convention trip. Three ways to use essential oils. The first way is the topical. You wanna to place a couple drops of essential oil to the desired area. You can massage it in. Um, you can put the on your chest before you get in the shower. I like, you always want to dilute it if you're, um, especially ages 12 and under diluting things with a carrier oil, or um, if you're just new to kind of using oils. You can 
aromatically used oils in diffusers. There's car diffusers. There's different way to make diffusers. You can make, um, you know, you can diffuse them in your shower or in your bath, things like that. Lucinda's got the dew drop diffuser right there. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, but I have the Aria all the way behind me. I'm looking at a haven over here. I have diffusers all over. So um, really amazing. And if you're ever looking for fun recipes for diffusers, Lucinda is a go-to. She probably, her house smells like something different is cooking every day, probably because she's always diffusing something really fun. So you can also use essential oils internally um, and you can bake with them, cook with them, put them in veggie capsules, in your water, um, in your meals, things like that. So all super fun ways to use essential oils. All right. Awesome. What's your favorite part of Halloween? Tell me. You know, I don't really have a favorite part because I usually work at night or it's been like on a school night. But this year, I think we're going to let the trick or treaters come. But um, oh, cool. I was going to say that the blend that I have in my diffuser right now, it's in the slideshow. So we won't spoil that, but just look for it to come up later in the, the slideshow. Awesome. I like, uh, I would like always like getting trick or treaters, but I don't really where I am. So I'll be able to take my kids to the big trick or treating place around where we live because we live close to it now. So, all right. Energy. This is something I'm super excited that you reminded me of this because I'll be bringing this Halloween night. Um, I am super shot usually after four o'clock and I'm still running around and um, walking around a bunch of kids in the dark at night. I mean, I'm excited for my kids, but I'm definitely going to need the energy. So this oil does just this. Um, I love actually diffusing this in the car in the mornings with peppermint. I used to do this on the way to work. I loved it. Um, I love putting it on my chest. Sometimes I'll even put it on my chest, um, in the shower, but energy is an awesome oil, um, for moms, for anyone busy, uh, just needing that. That scent that's going to make you run miles. <laughs> and hopefully it'll give you the energy to get through the, get through the night, right? Yes. All right. And that and Ningxia too. Three must-haves for trick-or-treat is for sure. If you spray hand sanitizer, wipes, or gels, right? So, um, I mean, I'm just going to full on say it. Like kids in general are disgusting. I have twins and I run a daycare. They really are gross. So just having these all the time, but especially, you know, when you're trick-or-treating, um, it is the season. I'm speaking one second when people are getting sick, all the things, germs are going around, put it back in the bathroom now. Um, and I, these ones are just awesome. Thieves. I really love for like, if you're pushing strollers or something, hand sanitizer. I mean, I have it everywhere. And then you have the thieves spray, um, for, you know, surfaces and things like that. So uh, definitely something to have for sure. This amazing um, all right. So after carving your pumpkins, spray them. Oh, I forgot this one. Spray them with thieves to keep them lasting throughout Halloween and don't throw out the seeds. We're going to talk about what we can do with the seeds. Lucinda, can yes. you um, go back real quick? Is this spraying with thieves oil or thieves? Uh, household cleaner i will have to check you check that out because I when i researched this it's like i didn't even think about putting it on, on there i think it might be maybe even like the thieves fruit and veggie wash but just um, something oh yeah something along i'll have to find that out and i'll put it back in the post for i know like kids always want to carve their pumpkins right when we get them and then they're like why are they dead for halloween i'm like because we carve them september 30th that's why I've also heard that people, if they use like um, Vaseline, if you if you use that in your house, but some type of gel to coat the, coat yeah, so, so they don't, don't dry. Use Vaseline though. Yeah, they're a non-toxic class. And you'll know why. All right, so don't throw away your seeds because you can make these pumpkin seeds, right? Three drops of Thieves Vitality, two cups of raw pumpkin seeds, three tablespoons of cooking oil, some honey, cinnamon, and salt. Mix them up and roast them. Yum. That sounds so good. All right. Um, Ningxia red gummies. I love that little 
Is that a mole? Is that your mold that you took a picture of? Yeah, I got it off of Amazon. I used it for um ice cubes. It's like a silic, it's a silicone mold. I know it was cute. So the pieces on that, they're probably about this big, which would make a really big gummy, but I couldn't find smaller ones, but I'm sure they're out there. So this recipe would work in um any silicone mold like that. Nice. Um, but Ningxia Red is really amazing and gummies. Um, I honestly don't know if you'd be able to make enough for trick-or-treaters. That's a lot, but um, making them, um, using the agar powder, which is like a gelatin alternative. It's healthier, honeyer, um, a great food vitality, lime vitality. You can mix up the, um, oils if you want as well, but feel free to take a screenshot of this, um, to make some Ningxia red gummies. And also, um, they can take screenshots of any of the recipes or if they don't can't don't have the capability to do a screenshot just get in touch with one of us and we can make sure they get the recipes that are in the presentation so right. deviled eggs my favorite lucinda always loves to put these on <laughs> but you got some hard-boiled eggs we put in some celery dijon mustard mayonnaise chopped chives um young living dill goes good on this uh salt and black pepper as well um do they have celery seed? They have so they have celery seed oil, right? Mm -hmm. So I wanna I wanna say I've smelled the celery seed oil. It doesn't smell anything like celery, but worst case, if you don't have celery, you can always use something like that. Um, you just won't really get the crunch. You'll get the flavor though. But right. Uh, probably say with that maybe just a, a toothpick squirrel because I've used it before on like tuna fish and it's it's just it's really really strong flavored if you think of celery as a strong flavor so probably just a um toothpick squirrel also would like the fresh ground black pepper if you don't have that you could also use the black pepper what'd you use for the red eyes the red stuff the red was actually a truffle hot sauce oh I'm so glad that I <laughs> I like hate deviled eggs and mushrooms. So that's like my thing. <laughs> but try these. This actually, this was really good. Lucinda made this. Lucinda, you made, did you take a picture? Is these your, are these your, this your food from your party? Mm -mm. So it, it looks exactly like the photo that she made. I know that's why we, um, we did it beforehand. But this was just, so, I made this once when we were at our old job together from when we had the yeah, Friday was. But this um this guacamole is really good with the lime and the cilantro oil, um, the citrus fresh even in there as well. So this is um it's just a really cute idea, the puking pumpkin. And um, you can also sometimes uh yep, it says tomatoes in there. Sometimes you add tomatoes. Um, I like to add, yep, red onions. There you go. But you can uh make this and I just really like. I love making guacamole and I feel like I always go to the store and I forget the cilantro and the lime, but I always have the oil. So it helps out. It helps out tremendously. And Jill made the guacamole for Saturday. So she did a really good job on it. All right. These are cute. Um, I used to actually funny. I used to teach, um, she used to do this with my students and we would learn about like the dentist. We would put little things inside, but um, sorry, I'm trying to see, what does it say to put in between? Are those the yogurt raisins? I think those are the be, yogurt, um, raisins. yogurt raisins or they can be, um, you know, whatever you have in your house, you could use marshmallows, the yogurt covered raisins. Um, the peanut butter or maybe almond butter if you don't use peanut you know like an alternative butter yeah. almond but the peeves, butter. um fruit and veggie soaker talking about this before i really like this whenever we come home um from the grocery store i just clean out my sink and i fill it with some water and some thieves fruit and veggie wash or it comes in this spray as well that you can just spray down and it is um awesome it like the water is super yucky after you just rinse them off and all your produce is clean and so, but um, what I liked about this one is I took this one step further. You can make this, but before you put the apples together, you know, soak them in the thieves spray and, or I mean the thieves oil, and that'll get the, like the little um, cinnamon flavor on the apples. Sorry, hold on.
Okay. Sorry to yell at my kids. Um, <laughs> so this is some of my favorite. Um, actually, I need to see if I have strawberries because I want to make this later tonight or tomorrow. But um, enjoy left chocolate chips. I like them. Uh, they're dairy free and some coconut oil and some Young Living orange essential oil. So, so yummy orange chocolate. All righty. So um, as you can tell, all these um, food so food items that we've had, these are for like if you're planning a party or, you know, a small Halloween get together. And of course, we don't want to forget something to drink. This um, basically um, fresh apple cider. You can put some oranges slices in there. You would add lemon essential oil, cinnamon bark, clove, nutmeg. And if you're an adult, I'm sure you could add something of your own tasting to spice this up a le little bit. But this is really good, either served hot or cold. Saturday, we had something similar to this and it served cold. And we had the, um, you know, spooky eyeballs for the ice cubes. We also have the other Halloween molds. So this is the blend that I have diffusing right now. So um, dentists do not like Halloween time, but actually they do because they probably get a lot of clients after it. So this is kind of a little funny on it. The dentist's favorite caramel apple, they'll approve this for you anytime. It's three drops of bergamot, three drops of stress, stress away, and then two drops of lime. And you can put this in your diffuser and diffuse this whenever you feel like it. So these are just some different um, Halloween blends to diffuse. Um, feel free to take a screenshot of this. There's trick or treat, vampire breath, full moon, witch's brew, candy corn, frank, frankenfruit. So these are all great blends to try. And you don't have to do these just on Halloween. Do these anytime you feel like doing them. Oh, excuse me. So once your party's done or your trick or treating is done, here are some oils and a product to help you settle those tummies. Um, there's a Kids Sense Mighty Pro. This is a prebiotic probiotic that can help settle their stomach. They also have Kids Sense um, Tummy Jize. And any of the Kids Sense oils that you see on here, they're already pre diluted. So they're made to go on kids without having to um, pre dilute them um, anymore. But if your child is really young, you might also want to dilute it a little bit more. Um, then there's Digize, which is great to take internally if you like the flavor of it, but if you don't, you can put it in a veggie capsule. This helps settle your stomach um, along with peppermint and ginger. And you might be wondering really quick, what's the difference in the colored labels? Kids Sense oils are all labeled with a colored label, but um, Young Living has made it very easy for you to determine which oils are safe to ingest. Any of the oils with a white label or vitality line oils, and those are made to ingest. So, but if you um, run out of your white oil, white labeled oil, and you have a colored label counterpart, rest assured it's the exact same oil, but FDA regulations state that Young Living cannot label an oil for topical and internal on the same label. Hence, they made it easy for you to realize that by making the vitality line of oils. So this is kind of a cute um, spray. If your kids are having a tough time going to bed after trick or treating, you can make a monster repellent recipe. You'll need a spray bottle, distilled water, because anytime you're making something with oils and it's gonna be sitting for a while, you always wanna use distilled water, a pinch of Epsom salt, and then 10 drops of your essential oil. So um, kiddos can spray this around the room, pretend to spray it underneath the bed wherever they think those Halloween monsters might still be there to get them. Oh, excuse me. So if you are ready to start, um, head over to youngliving.com, fill your cart with any items that you'd like to get in there. Right now they are having a great hollow, not a Halloween sale, sorry, their holiday launch. They just came out with some great products on there. There's three ways to shop, good, better, best. Of course, we'd like you to shop the best way, which is enrolling in loyalty rewards with any product. Doesn't matter the amount and you'd get 24% off for one full year. But also if you shop the best way and you bought 100 PV and PV means point value of any combination of products um, or one product or like a kit, you would still get that discount for 24% for one year. You would check out, add the referral ID of who referred you to Young Living or invited you to this presentation tonight. And then while you're there, if you think of it, you can also check out the benefits of becoming a brand partner, which is where you can share the information and you could possibly earn a commission. So Young Living does have some starter bundles. There's three of the bundles on here that are called Make a Shift um, kits. 
they retail for 112, but um, when you sign up, if it's your first order, you will get a 10% discount for a family and friends discount. The other bundles here, as you can see, um, the Aria starter bundle, it sells for 280, but a retail value of almost $750. The starter bundle with the Desert Mist Diffuser, 165, almost $440 value. So Young Living makes it really convenient for you to shop and get started and some great deals on them. They also give you products for shopping with them each month. Right now, the October gifts for free with purchase. And as you can see, there's a bonus of 100. So if you put your order on Loyalty Rewards, and it's 100 PV, you will get a bottle of eucalyptus globulus at the 190 level. If it's on, I'm sorry, I just lost my train of thought there, loyalty rewards, you will get the massager as the bonus. You will also get a 15 mil bottle of stress away. At the 250 level, you get a bottle of Immupro. This is great. It has a little bit of melatonin in it. Great for sleep. And then at the 300 PV level, you will get a five mil bottle of acceptance. So um, if you're wondering, okay, I got to the 300 level, you're right. You get everything underneath it. So great gifts for shopping and sharing the information. These are some benefits, quick benefits of being a brand partner. And right now to become a brand partner, it is only $1. It will soon be free. You just click on the button that you want to be a brand partner and you can get started. Like we said, earning a commission, you might... Um, get possible tax benefits, you can earn travel retreats. So great deal to become a brand partner. These are just some other things of, um, that show the difference of being loyalty reward orders versus regular cart order. With loyalty reward orders, you get points back for three, six, tw nine, and 12 months, you get a free gift at those. But depending on how long you stay with them, you get points back based on how long you've been with them. I am now over two years, so I get 25% back in, um, as I call it, virtual dollars for my Young Living wallet. You might be wondering, okay, what can I spend them on? You see this little blue flag, just look for that on any of the items. And if that item has it there, then you can um, cash in your points for it. They also have another great deal for loyalty reward orders. When you place your second consecutive loyalty reward order of 50 PV or more, you will get a free diffuser. You don't even have to click a box. It just comes in your order. Great shipping, as you can see. Of course, economy takes three to nine business days, but $10 to ship up to 150 pound package. This is the rest of our event schedule for October. Next week, we will have a... Um, holiday offerings online so you will be able to comment on the post and this will recap all of the holiday items we're going to finish out the month with falling for young living just some seasonal ideas to help you transition between the seasons we are not having any event on october 30th so you can get ready for all those little trick-or-treaters i might be coming these are just some funnies that i always include so you can all come out now i have put my stress away on or stress away in my diffuser and then why do you always have to put oils on me? The mom's answer, because oils will help keep you healthy and strong. Dad's answer, because the zombies are coming. So are there any questions with any of the products, any of the events that are coming up? If not, we want to thank you for being spooktacular and coming tonight. I'm going to stop sharing our screen and say thank you for coming. And hopefully we'll see you at the next Zoom, which will be the second month, I forgot what day it was, October 23rd will be our next Zoom class. So thank you all for coming and hopefully you'll have a great and safe trick-or-treating and don't eat too much candy. Bye. Bye.